Hi guys, I'm the Cube Solver. I will be teaching you on how to read algorithms or the cube notations. First, for the basic moves, these are the usual moves. R for right side, L for left side, U for upside, B for downside, F for front side, and B for back side, of course. If you see that these letters are just in capital letters and without number or apostrophe, that means it is a clockwise turn. If it is written as R, face the right side and turn it like this. If it is written as L, face the left side and turn it like this. You actually don't have to face it side when you do an algorithm. It's just the basis. The interesting thing about this is that they moved differently. They don't move the same way. They are opposite. U goes like this, but V goes like this. F goes like this, but B goes like this. If there is an apostrophe, it is a counterclockwise move. If it is R with apostrophe, which is being said as R prime, face the right side and turn it like this. If it is L prime, face the left side and turn it like this. U prime goes like this, V prime goes like this, F prime goes like this, and B prime goes like this. If there is a number 2 at the end, you have to turn that side twice or 180 degrees. So for R2, it goes like this or like this. It's just the same. L2 goes like this. U2, D2, F2, and B2. For the slice moves, M stands for middle layer, which is between R and L. So this is that middle layer. E stands for equatorial layer and it is between U and D. So here is the equatorial layer. S stands for standing layer and it is between F and B. So it is the standing layer. In this case, what side will be the basis for determining if it is a clockwise or counterclockwise move? Follow the letter which is nearer in the alphabet. Like in the case of M, which is between R and L, letter M is nearer to letter L in the alphabet, so we will follow the move of L for M. So M goes like this, and M prime goes like this. In the case of E, which is between U and D, Letter E is nearer to letter D in the alphabet, so we will follow the move of D for E. So, E goes like this, and E prime goes like this. In the case of S, which is between F and B, letter S is nearer to letter F in the alphabet, so we will follow the move of F for S. So, S will be like this. And S prime will be like this. If you see a lowercase letter like this, which is read as small r, or a capital letter followed by a letter W, which is read as r wide, then it is a move for two layers at once, and it goes like this. For example, small f is like this, small l goes like this. X, Y, and Z are cube rotations. If you see letter X, then it is moved the same direction as R. If R goes like this, X goes like this. If R prime goes like this, X prime goes like this. R2, X2. If you see Y, then it is moved the same direction as U. If U goes like this, Y goes like this. If U prime goes like this, Y prime goes like this. U2, Y2. If you see letter Z, then it is moved the same direction as F. If F goes like this, Z goes like this. If F prime goes like this, Z prime goes like this. If F2 goes like this, Z2 goes like this. For larger cubes like 4x4 four four and up, R wide means 2 layers for R. You may still put number at the beginning, so 3R wide means 3 layers for R. This is the 3R wide. This is a 4R wide. This is a 5R wide. And so on. 
you may still put apostrophe at the end. For example, 3RW prime, 4RW prime. You may also still put number at the end. For example, 3RW2, 4RW2. The first number tells you how many layers to move, and the second number tells you how much to move it. If there is a number at the beginning, but there is no W or wide, then you will move that layer only. So for 3R, only move the third layer from the right. 1, 2, and 3. This one. So for 3L, for example, only move the third layer from the left. 1, 2, 3. It seems like a slice move. For 4 by 4 cubes, there are some exceptions when it comes to wide moves. If you see lowercase letters, then it is not a wide move anymore. It is a slice move like this. Small r is only for this layer and small l is only for this layer. And that applies to other moves as well. Lastly, for the square one, the notations for this cube is different from what you saw earlier. We have to deal with every angle you move. The moves here is represented by numbers. Every 30 degrees move is equivalent to one move. But somehow, you might be wondering how much turn is 30 degrees. Each edge piece is 30 degrees, which is one move. Each corner piece is 60 degrees, which are two moves. Each edge piece, that's 30 degrees. Each corner piece, that's 60 degrees. So these are the edges and these are the corners if you just don't know yet. For example, this move is 30 degrees and this move is 60 degrees. And that is a total of 90 degrees which is equivalent to 3. Another move is what we call slash. The slash pertains to a 180 degrees turn for the right side. Just like that. Here is a sample algorithm. The first number is a move for the top side and the second number is a move for the bottom side. This line is the basis on how much turns you have done. If an edge piece passed through it, then you'll count it as one. If it is a corner piece, then you'll count it as two moves. The algorithm is slash three three slash. So it is moved like this. Slash one, two, three. And for the bottom side, 1, 2, 3, and slash. Accordingly, if the algorithm is positive, it is a clockwise move. And if it is negative, it is a counterclockwise move. For example, the algorithm is slash negative 3, 3, slash. It is moved like this, slash. And then 3 moves counterclockwise for the top side, 1, 2, 3. And then 3 moves for the bottom side, clockwise, 1, 2, 3 and then slash. If there is a zero, then you should not move for that side. For example, slash, do not move for the top side, only for the bottom side, one, two, three, and then slash. Or slash, move for the top side, one, two, three, and don't move for the bottom side, and then slash. That's it, we're done. Please leave a like in this tutorial. Tell your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget, to click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.